I caught Thanks. one of my assistants looking at porn. Hey, if you're listening to this, I'm not mad at you, but I'm gonna tell your story. His response was he couldn't help it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, Danielle. You don't work here anymore. You can't like, mark, you know, go to your workforce, tell them you have a, you know, a, a sex addiction problem, and then ask that to be a free pass to watch porn at your desk. The same thing with alcohol addiction problem. It's not a free pass to put vodka into your coffee mug and be like, "What? Well, I have a problem." I had a, a, a worker who in his inbox, when he was terminated, we found out that he was writing pornographic stories and keeping them in his drafts, in his drafts on the company email. I read through the first one, which had to do a motorcycle, a pizza delivery guy. Everybody can take that from there. Like, hey, you're not supposed to watch porn at work and you can be fired for it. Don't write things on company emails that are personal. Don't create your porn video film ideas on a company email and save them in your draft file. We might think that it's like common sense, but maybe it's stuff that like people don't know until they know. So what I'm hearing is that yeah. colleges need to have a course of stuff your mama should have taught you 101. I can count not on one hand, but two hands, how many times in my career porn's been involved. Did that come out right? <laughs>